It is a fact that the wider appetite for crushing cane by several factories across the sugar belt in eastern Uganda has resultantly seen more players operating below their installed capacities. We had less factories in Uganda and less capacity in 2014 and we produced 438,000 metric tons of sugar. 2017, we have more sugar factories and we have a bigger capacity because some factories have expanded their capacities. But we have only produced 322,000. But the ongoing discussion around the sugar bill has seen a fresh petition by the Sugar Cane Growers Association to Parliament demanding that the new law captures the local content provision. Okay, let us be regulated. 15 km radius gives them 6,000 tons of cane. That's enough for Kakira. Others, they are crushing 4,000, others, 2,000. So I'm saying that in the next 10 km, let it be for Ugandans alone to crush their cane. Because you're saying that 10, 25 km radius produces 10,000 tons of cane. In Uganda, there is no factory that can crush that cane. This does not exist. Yet. There has been divergent views and positions, including from government that some of the sugar factories that choose of cane poaching must relocate at a cost estimated by some experts at nearly 200 billion shillings. But uh, the government must come out and see what they can do because it's not their fault that they got licenses. It is the same government that gave them licenses and they have done their investments. So implications on some of these issues have to be negotiated and agreed upon between the government and whoever will be affected by the law. But further still, a sugar technologist and farmer says that the sugar law equally needs to capture the wider returns from the lucrative product in order to benefit the agricultural economy that Uganda is. Very high value as you move along. These people want all they can. Why? They will not only get sugar. They have uh, power. Power government is paying 12 US cents per unit. You can go to the ministry and check. That's a lot of money. But when they are paying a farmer, they are paying him basing on sugar. Today, KSL is producing 60,000 liters of ethanol at $3 per liter. Gentlemen, the economics of the sugar industry is uh, there is too much money. Reina Ojon, NTV Business.